Welcome to a new Precious Plastic instruction video. Alright, so today we're going to build a plastic shredder. And basically this machine chops your plastic waste into small plastic flakes. And these flakes will be used in the machines to create new plastic products. The size of this machine is based on a plastic bottle. So we wanted to make sure it can shred a plastic bottle. And everything smaller than a plastic bottle you can throw it in. If it's bigger, you need to pre-cut it or you need to build a bigger shredder. In this video, we will guide you step by step how to make the shredder. You can download all the technical information and the blueprints. And if you have a question or something is unclear, feel free to post the topic in our forums. All right, let's get started. This is the machine we're gonna build. And basically it consists out of four different parts. We have the shredding part, the power supply, the framework and the hopper. And we're gonna start off making the shredders. And this is by far the most complex part of this machine. But if you follow our blueprints and this video, you should be okay. So here we have the core elements of the shredder machine. And you can download a package with all the drawings from our website. And you can just send them to a laser cutter, plasma cutter or water cutter. And they will cut out all the parts like the blades, the spacers, the side blades. And now we're gonna assemble it all together. Make sure that all the rough edges are completely smooth because we're gonna tighten everything pretty packed together. So here we have the X for the shredder and we're going to put on the blades. So here we have blade one, as you can see with the markation and we're going to add a spacer. Then we're going to add blade number two, as you can see right here with the two little dots. Then we're going to add another spacer and then comes blade three and blade three. And this way we have a nice cutting flow for the shredder, but feel free to play, play around and use different configurations. So everything is connected, make sure everything works. And then we're gonna tighten it up and weld these metal plates together. And then it should be rock solid. This, here we have the mesh that goes under the shredder. Size of this mesh determines the output you want. So if you have different mesh, you will have bigger or smaller flakes. We're gonna weld the mesh onto these two holders. And then we can put this one under the shredder. We painted these bars on the shredder and we tightened everything. Make sure to take your time to do this because you want to make it go completely smooth. That you can hear this. Nothing. Exactly nothing. So we just finished the shredder part and now we're going to focus on the power supply and it's pretty straightforward but there are some key things to watch out for. Let you do it. Sorry. So here we have our beautiful engine. It doesn't really matter how it looks or how big it is or the size. We only need to make sure it's slow and powerful. 
the exact specifications you can download. Um, and right now we need to attach the motor to the shredder, so it will turn around. And maybe we'll give it a paint job. So now we're gonna wire everything up and we found a great place to get your second hand cables. We're currently at the junkyard and this is a great place to find cables to connect all the electronics. And they have plenty of them. And usually we're gonna connect all the electronics in a metal box. If you wanna know how we do this, go watch our other videos. However, today we found this little guy. And inspired by the guys I met in Africa, we wanna connect all the electronics inside this one. All the electronics are inside this jerry can and we installed a switch here so we can make the motor go both directions. Now we're gonna hook it up to the framework and shred some plastic. We finished up the shredder and the power supply and now we're gonna focus on the framework. And since there's a lot of force and strength going on in here, we need to make sure the framework is rock solid. Let's build a frame. Yep. So since our motor is slightly bigger than our cutting, we had to fill this gap. Um, so Use our blueprints as a reference since you probably have a different engine. Just make sure that it's perfectly aligned from the power to the cutting. We're almost ready and we finished up the shredder, the power supply and the framework. But last but not least, we need to make the hopper. And this is where the plastic waste goes into the machine. The hopper is made from sheet metal and there are different ways how to get sheet metal. Today we're going to use this one from an old truck. We're going to cut it out, weld it together and then we have the hopper. how this thing works. Here we have the shredder machine. And you can turn it on by using this little switch. And you can make it turn both ways. So if plastic gets stuck or something like that, you can turn it the other way around. And the plastic waste goes into the hopper and then it will be shredded. So let's shred some plastic. The output 
output of the shredder is still pretty big. And that's why you can also add a mesh underneath. And the size of the mesh determines the output. Connect this one under here with a few screws and then uh, we'll show you the difference. As you can see, there's a big difference between shredded plastic without a mesh and with the mesh. Do note that the smaller you want your plastic to be, the more energy and the longer it takes. You can play around with this, like sorting out different colors or going really small or get bigger flakes. You can adapt it to whatever you need to make with it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope everything was clear. If it wasn't, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And one thing to note is that the machines are built in a modular way, which means you can always upgrade or repair them, but also customize them to your needs. So if you happen to make a hack or customization, we would absolutely love to see it, because in this way we can all work together to create better machines. In the next video, we're going to make molds and show you how to create things with these machines. And for now, thanks for watching, good luck with building, and hope to see you in the next Precious Plastic video.